Hey guys, Machines and Mal here. Just want to show you this really nice little Honda EX1000 uh, generator we picked up the other day. This thing's in really nice shape. It's kind of like a car that your grandma used to drive to church on Sundays and never, never used it. It's, it's clean. You can see behind the casing, the engine, it's still shiny like new. Um, we're not sure what year this is, but um, there's a lot of them out there online. They seem to be a good little unit. So it's a four-stroke, uh, single-cylinder, air-cooled generator. Puts out 1,000 watts. Uh, realistically probably 850 900 under load but for starting different tools a thousand and it's got um, 120 volt output two receptacles with the maximum load of 8 amps um, I'm not sure if it's 8 amps between the two or 8 amps each anyway it's also got a 12 volt uh, direct current output so you can actually connect uh, 12 volt wire to here and charge your batteries like on an RV or a car or a boat or something 12 volt at 5.8 amps um, that's the little tool there a little little spark plug tool that comes with it when you buy it new and like I said it's in a really nice condition it's clean it's not rusty and we're just wanting to show it to you so we're gonna fire it up and uh, we're gonna put a load on it we've got a couple implements here got a uh, angle grinder 10 amp angle grinder 1100 watts so you would think that this would be about the maximum or even more than the maximum of what this can power so we'll see and then we've got one of the most devastating tools for a little generator like this is the good old heat gun I think this thing on on full power draws 12 amps 1500 watts so if uh, if this little generator can run this thing in low mode it's doing well I doubt it's going to be able to run it in high mode on full draw but let's just get started so it's got an off and on switch pretty basic and then on the back is your choke so choke on for a cold start and then the run position so we're going to put the choke on Fires right up, and now we're going to slowly turn the choke off. Usually, it's good to let it run for for a minute to to get the spark plug warm and the valves warm and the oil pumping, etc. Um, oh, hang on, I'm going to show you something. If you can zoom in right there. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but that white square is vibrating compared to the other two. You get right in there. So I'll just explain this first. So that little white square, these vibrate indicating the frequency that this generator is is outputting uh, here where we live in North America generally I think you're supposed to be between about 55 and 60 uh, Hertz Hertz frequency so you can actually adjust the uh, the governor on this uh, in or out to, to bring the vibration in between those two points you can see there's a line there and a line there and you want to have that blue square vibrating when this thing is under load so you need to set this when it's under load uh, just to explain that for you. So I'm going to fire it back up. And we got our, our 10 amp 1100 watt grinder. That's good. on low you can hear the generator working I'm gonna put it on high 
and I'm going to turn it right up to full blast, which theoretically should be about 1500 watt draw, maybe 1350 around there. So you can really, really hear it working now, but she's doing it full blast. generator runs just perfect we're going to uh, give her a wipe down and put some fresh high octane fuel in her and uh, put her up for sale so for more videos like this hit the subscribe button happy valentine's day and thanks for watching